Banks have different preferences about the blockchain technology that they want to use, and we're completely blockchain agnostic. So they would choose a blockchain technology that for whatever reason was their optimal technology in their region or for their technical goals. Then they would make the real world asset token, but then the real world asset token would need to be informed by various data. So for a gold coin, you would need to know that there's gold in the vault. For the real estate, you would need to know the status of the house. For any number of other assets, you'd need to know what's going on. You'd also then need to add identity data so the asset could be moved and comply with various regulations around identity. And then you need other information about the asset's valuation, price, and so on. So we basically allow real world asset tokens to come into existence because as the longest running provider of proof of reserves and other ways to enrich the token and the information in the token, we are the ones basically making that possible, is, is the ability to make a token that doesn't just statically represent something, but that is consistently updated with the status of the thing it represents, which is what makes it a real-world asset.